what you guys are saying is very frightening indeed. The, the magical goggles that can see the evil spirits are missing. Yeah. Are you kidding me? What year is it, Luna? 2019. Found you when your heart was broke. I filled your cup into a little overflowed. I took it so far to keep you close. I was afraid to leave you on your own. Correct. Bobby, what is your job? Demontologist. We think it's attracting the devil. The devil? Um, yes, because snakes are the sign of a devil. Luna has now these special goggles that can allow her to see demons, monsters, spirits, all that stuff. A secret passageway. Ew, no. Ew, no. Ew, no. Ew, it Build up passageway to hell. Passageway. <laughs> yes. And everywhere we go with this now, we leave it somewhere, then it appears somewhere else. What does? The okay, so, that's so why we, we want to get rid of this <laughs> Well, that didn't exactly get rid of it. I know what to do. Still on property. Come on, guys. <laughs> well, I. Okay. That would explain why this movie this year is going to be part Oscar pick with Young Frank and brother Brian, who's going to praise me, and a horror movie. A if scene. you mess with them, it could it could cause misfortune. We don't want that. Bad luck. You step on the and couch. worst of all, death. Uh, Brian, it's time for you to praise me a little bit. Uh, John, I'm gonna praise you. <laughs> okay, that, that's good enough. So we have Black Klansman. Black Panther. Black Panther. We've got the favorite, Roma. If we don't even remember them, maybe they aren't likely to win, are they? Should I look it up? As you look it up, Luna and Bobby, can you explain what those goggles do? They protect us from the bad spears. This, you can see monsters with, all right? So I'm gonna put this on. Devils. Oh my gosh, I see a monster. Are you saying that young Frank is a monster? Yes, it's a monster. Right, oh right there. Is it this one or this one? Or both of them? Both of them. No, oh, my yet. God. <laughs> but I'm okay. I'm not, right? Yeah, you're not a monster. Okay. Uh. Brian, do you want to apologize for being a monster? I disagree with that sentiment, but... Why? I... What makes you <laughs> prove that you're not a monster? I, well, I, I'm nice to animals. You like snakes? Uh-oh. He snake. loves snakes, Bobby. Tell him your theory yeah, about snakes. Snake. Snakes are the sign of a devil. Oh, okay. Did you know that? <laughs> I also no. really like snakes because they're cute. Cute? That's the what? only reason they're cute. cute. They're cute, but they're demonic, right? Yes. Snakes are cute. Okay, what? now we've given what? young Frank yeah. some time to... Yeah. ...with his demon powers. So we forgot Bohemian Rhapsody, Green Book, Vice. It's Batman playing Dick Cheney. Oh, okay. Yeah. And Star is Born. What is your pick? They're going to give it to Spike Lee because they should have given it to him for better movies in the past. Okay, that's a very interesting theory, but it, again, lacks the big vision. Right, Brian? I have the big vision. He has the little vision, right? Yeah, you have the big vision. Bro. Okay. <laughs> the best picture this year will go to the most anti-Trump film. And this is a hard call. Let's ask Brian, who is a well-known demonic libertarian. <laughs> Brian, what do you think is the most anti-Trump of all those movies? Well, I mean, it's not too much of a connection to them, but there's the Cheney movie, Vice. Right. And if people are, you know, still have a chip on their shoulder towards the Bush administration. That's my dark horse. However, Hollywood pretends it likes to care about, um, you know, grieved minorities. So, Black Panther or... Uh, um, minorities, that is very Trumpy. Okay, go on, go on. Or that could be um, the other, the Spike Lee one, which I heard was good. I mean, I don't think he's made a good film in probably close to 20 years now, but people told me it was decent. Uh, so, yeah, I'll go with that one. It okay, like wrong, wrong, wrong. Guess it's time for me to turn all the cards over and tell you what's gonna win. President Trump does not like women and he does not like Mexicans. The winner of this year's Academy Award for Best Motion Picture is Roma. It's bold strategy, Cotton. 
Oh gosh. This is our, this is the drawing of it. Well, it can't, can't be me or Frank because he doesn't have a beard. But you know who he does look like a little bit? Yeah, no. No, he doesn't have hair. Oh, oh, that's yeah. true too. <laughs> well, I don't, I don't have I hair, but I do have a beard. Smile. Wait, you need to smile. Yes, you need to smile for us. Let's see. Do teeth. Do teeth. You need to see how. <gasps> that looks really. <laughs> okay, uh, let's you? do a test. Not you. Yes, that one. Uh, it's well, him. It's so him. There was a difference of opinion. Oh, wait, here. you didn't give me the test. All right. That looks like you. <laughs> okay, that looks okay. Do you see that? Do you see? Do you see that comparison right there? Yeah. Look at his forehead. <laughs> yeah, because he has barely any hair, and our guy's bald. Wait, but the person that we're looking for does not have eyes. Oh. It could be anyway. none of us. I so. Don't have eyes. But. Well. It looks most like him, I'm just saying. Me? Like you. Oh my god! Both of these <laughs> kids are demons! Ah! Ah! Have you ever heard of the Salem Witch Trials? Yeah. You're whipping yourselves up into uh, accusing innocent people of something that they didn't do, instead of just focusing on the guilty ones. What? <laughs> oh, yeah, they're the ghosty ones. <laughs> right? Yeah, aren't they? Yeah! Best actor, Bradley Cooper. No. W Willem Dafoe. No. Oh Remy Malek. Yes. Viggo Mortensen. Yes. No. No. <laughs> Christian Bale. It's Maybe. It turns out that young Brian here has some intelligence there. So what, what was that about pancake makeup? What? Yes, there's a correlate between... Academy Award winners and the amount of pancake makeup on an actor's face. <laughs> Christian Bale, by far, of any of the nominees, had the most pancake makeup. Did the clown and it win? Uh, he won well, the Tim Curry version. But that, was, <laughs> that was made for TV movie. Oh, okay, um, there you go. Oh, so who do you have? Uh, I'm going with Freddie Mercury. I'm gonna go with Willem Dafoe. Okay, we'll probably beat Christian Bale. Okay, <laughs> next category. Okay, uh, Best Actress, Lady Gaga, Melissa McCarthy, Olivia Coleman, Yelitsa. Yes, again, my overarching Trump theory. She's Mexican. Yeah, and finally, Glenn Close, last one. Not Mexican, so who do you go for? I'll go with Melissa McCarthy. Trump doesn't like fat people either, even though he is incredibly <laughs> fat. Oh. Okay, go on, next. Have your so, videos been demonetized yet? <laughs> <laughs> All right, next. Best Sporting Actor, Adam Driver, Marshall Ali, Sam Rockwell, Sam Elliott, Richard E. Grant. Okay, Richard E. Grant has been just reveling in his nomination, this English guy. So he's not going to get it. I think it's going to be Marshall Ali. Sadly, Luna has been kidnapped by the devil. Oh, no. <laughs> that is sad. Can you go try to rescue her? There's nothing I can do. You're a demonologist. Uh, there must be something. If only somebody had some um, holy water, maybe the, or maybe salt water. <laughs> okay, continuing. So what was your pick? Uh, Sam Elliott. He's a nice guy. He's the guy with the mustache? I'm a cowboy. Beef, that's what's for dinner. Uh, I, I don't know what that's referring to. I mean, I... I no, I, I, that's I, I mean, he's a, Isn't he that guy with the deep voice? He's a, a cowboy, yeah. I mean, you see like, where I'm going with this? Beef, it's what's for dinner. But we need to burn it. And let's just do director, that'll be... Okay, best director, Spike Lee, Adam McKay, Palazaki for uh, Cold War. Alfonso Curion and your ghost Lan Thimos. I'll go with Spike Lee. Um, I'll go with Spike Lee just because I had Black Candle Handsman for Best Picture. All right, well that's a wrap, and we certainly hope to see Luna one last time in the earthly as opposed <laughs> to the demonic realm. Do you guys actually believe Bobby's theories of? Yes, I believe. Well, I know you do, Bobby, but. There, Luna. Um, uh, it really depends, you know? I had to go and find out from them. So tell me, how's it feel? Yeah. All right, 
right, do you think any of us truly are demons? You know we all have eyes. Do, could you take that back so we can sleep tonight? So you guys all have eyes, but oh. And are you guys a little upset that you're possessed by? I am, I am. I'm a little bit really, out really here. ruined my day. Actually, <laughs> yeah. find that out. See, you grew up in that kind of stuff. You probably half believe it, right? <laughs> I, yeah, I kind of do actually. <laughs> a box full of pins, and you have to shake it around for monsters to go away. Apparently, yeah. If it's weird that a little kid could freak us out this much. I, I know. I, I didn't know. like it either. Yeah. But we do have eyes, so maybe he's wrong. All right, actually. Ah, I, re I, re I realize actually the shirt that I'm wearing, maybe maybe he was right. Oh, oh my yeah, God. Ooh, oh, poor, 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 choice, poor choice of clothing. All right, well, I want to thank you to a demonologist and singer for being in this year's Oscar picking. <gasps> No. Show of horrors. Oh, prediction. Who's gonna win? Me or Young Frank? You. You think? Young Frank is a demon. Uh, it yes, mm. that one. Uh, it's, uh, him. it's him. It's him. Yeah. Well, but I am too. I thought you said. Uh, let me change your mind on that. Yeah. yeah. Can you take the demon curse off of me? Yes. Sure. Thank right. you. Thank I'm you. I'm gonna take it off right now. Wait, wait, wait. And can you yes. please take it off, Young Frank? Because he is a nice guy. Is it, take it. This is working for Young Frank too. No. Please, right. be nice to him. He is... Nope, nope, nope. We're All never right, Luna. nice to him. Why never. are you... <laughs> never. He has uh, a biased opinion. Okay. What does that mean? Luna, you take it off young Frank, okay? No. Okay. Um, no. No, don't! Just do the wand of taking it off. No, don't take it off. Now. All right, thank you. Wait. Sorry. No, Sorry. I'm putting it back on. No, no. All I can say is I'm pretty sure Luna got the curse off of young Frank. But if he wins this year... It may only be because of some unholy power.